Hey, it's Sheila. We are in the Keep Oregon Well Room with Kevin from Broken Social Scene. Hi, Kevin. So good to see you. Hi. Hello. Thank you. You know what? I I was just telling Kevin how much I love Canadians. First of all, because they have universal health care and they really take good care of mental health. Do you think that's like, do you think that's accurate? I hope so. I'm going to say yes. But to speak for the universal healthcare system of Canada, it feels a lot of pressure at this time in the morning. You have spent a lot of time in L.A., though. What do you see there that you don't like? Uh, I see a lack of mental health care. I see a lack of shelters. I see a, la- a lack of uh, attention towards the homeless out there. And uh, the juxtaposition between the top of the hill and the bottom of the, hi- of the hill is it's just too much. And it's uh, the for a city that has so much wealth... It astonishes me how they don't have enough shelters down there. And that all really comes down to real estate. And this is from my education of riding in Uber cars. I get, I, I, I find I learn a lot about a city by talking with the Uber drivers or the Lyft drivers. And, and uh, but yeah, there's, it's, uh, it's astonishing to me, the, uh, the population down there and the lack of, uh, help they have towards that. Do you think that um, mental health services and the ability for people to get their physical health taken care of is actually a civil right? I believe they. I, I believe it's it's an option that needs to be there. I believe it's just something that has to be accessible. Mm. Uh, so if that makes that answer saying yes that it's a civil right, I just think it's something that uh, should be in the forefront. How do you guys, because uh, I've seen your band where there were six people playing, then I've seen where there's like 13 people playing. That's a big difference of the number of people you're on the road with. How do you all keep it cool? How do you take care of yourself? Uh, I think everybody has their own rituals. We, 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 you have to be very patient, which is very difficult. Um, But I think uh, as long as everyone's doing their own uh, routine. We've been working out a lot in the, on this tour, on this returning tour. Everyone seems to have their own time. Charlie has his bike. You know, people go off and bike ride. People go off and work out. People go off on their own ventures into food and, and seeing the cities. And I think you just kind of remain grateful in your older age of still being able to do this and having people come out. And we're a family more than we're a band. So it's okay to have the back and forth grumpiness and all that it's already accepted it's yeah. it's not a big deal so part of the getting healthy and staying healthy is just kind of an acceptance that you're going to have different moods and it's okay to be that way it's okay to not feel okay it's really okay to not feel okay especially in today's day and age you have to have empathy towards the fact that it's a struggle the moment you get up did you just call yourself old? You said as old as I am. You're not old. No. You're so young. I just, I mean, within this this lifestyle, it's a it's a young it's a young lifestyle. Yeah, right. And you have to remind yourself that you, you have ail. We I mean, we've sometimes done the set list based on people's ailments. <laughs> their, you know, it's like my knee. I can't do that one. <laughs> my voice. Ah. <laughs> But um, if you had any advice for your younger fans who were maybe struggling with something and felt embarrassed or stigmatized by speaking out, what would you say? Oh, uh, don't feel embarrassed. First of all, that's not that's not coming from you. That's coming from a historical uh, stereotype of not being able to speak your truth. You have to be yourself and you have to be very open about what you're going through. Um, And within that. The music just came up. You said that. Well, How beautiful. Is that your one minute meditation reminder? It is. It's my uh, make sure you're okay ringtone. That's super cool. We just had a one minute meditation reminder with Kevin from Broken Social Scene. Thanks again, Kevin, for being with us. Thank you.